Broken Joe, Giuseppe Curcio and Stuart Duncan, Soul. Congratulations on your engagement, Kenny. Vicky Rooney's only had nine bad marriages. You're catching up, Ken. <laughs> Star of the Burton in the morning show, Mr. Versatile, and chef extraordinaire, Ken James. And Leanne Maniatis is official singing coach. Leanne Maniatis, Barura. Correct. <laughs> Okay, we've got a big fight coming up here. We've got a big puncher in uh, David K.O. Kid Stenson in the blue corner. Big puncher, really big puncher. He's had 10 fights. He's won seven of them. I knock out. He's, all, uh, he's got plenty of power. The other guy, um, uh, Inu In Ini Latu from Auckland, New Zealand, also has uh, uh, a puncher sort of a record. He soaks up punches a bit. Um, he's, uh, it's hard to say because when they come from New Zealand or, or Fiji, it's hard to decide. Anyway, here's Howard. Middleweight contest. Judges David Wignall, Andrew Campbell, and Anika Williams. Our ringside physician, Dr. John Jury. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome first, on my left, in the red corner, last night scaling 69.80 kilograms. Born in Tonga, now resident Auckland, New Zealand, where he trains with the legendary Bridge Sane, with Nashud Ali in the corner, a man who fought Tony Mad Dog Miller 15 years ago in Perth. This young man, 20 amateur fights, 20 wins in professional boxing. Five bouts, one win, scaling 69.80 kilograms, 28 years of age, a man called the Pure Coconut, Pure Coconut, wearing Collingwood colours of white with black trim. Would you welcome from New Zealand, Eni Latu, Eni Latu. And across the ring in the blue corner, trained by Murray Thompson, originally from Wolfville, South Australia, now living in Murray Thompson's Hotel Motel, Blackburn North. 27 years of age in professional boxing. Nine bouts, eight wins. Six big wins coming by way of knockout. The Victorian light middleweight champion having his fourth bout this year, wearing bombers colors of black with red trim. 
the KO Kid, David Steenson. Steenson. Carl Theodoru, your referee in charge. Give five instructions. Any of the two and David Steenson. Well, this will be a fiery fight, gentlemen. No doubt about that. Uh, David Steenson is a very heavy puncher. He calls himself the KO Kid. He's talking himself up there. And he can punch. And can he ever? He's a magnificent uh, bomber, he is. And uh, up against Dean Latto. I don't know much about him at all. In fact, I know nothing. Different, uh, big, big reach advantage here. And um, oh, I yes. think David's advice is just stay back a little bit at the start. At the start and have a bit yeah, of a any, look at him, you know. Anything could happen here because Steenson can. Uh, he starts quite uh, quickly, he doesn't muck around. He's got power. Oh, yes. Good power. And a big right hand over the top missed uh, uh, Latto. No See, that's to work in underneath. He's pretty quick too, Latto, moving yeah. in there and working away at the so body. Oh, he's uh, throwing everything by the kitchen that's sink it. at Steenson's midriff at the moment. Dave's just got to sit there and take him and just weather the storm. That's he's all right. He's all right. Latto, just he's catch a... him on the gloves. He's strong. That's uh, it. Don't worry about customer. it too much. Just, just catch him on the gloves. Don't panic. That's right. And that looks I think a lot of people the see, they, they panic too much. That's right. And uh, then it's when they can get caught with a big shot. Yep. That's why I say boxing is a thinking game. That's you know? right. Yeah. It's like a game of chess. Yes. And nice shots in there, right. Ben That's better. I had a word with the referee before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. They didn't get hit with any of those shots, and uh, they're all on the elbows. So uh, all that work was basically for nothing. That's right. Well, He's just got to relax and just let one come down on him, I think. And that'll sling some big oh, rise. Oh, I, I, I saw his leg tremor there a little bit, tell you the truth. That right leg has just kind of went funny for a moment. He's got that nice straight ramrod yeah, jab. Good, 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 good. And he, should, he should use it. Don't don't uh, let it sit there. Use it. Yeah. What about that yeah. uppercut of Stingson's too? Gus, it's yeah. very straight too, yeah. isn't it, yeah. when it comes up? Keep your jab. It going. hurts too, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine it would, uh, Julie, with any trouble whatsoever. Let's see, he's just got to relax and just work into the fight. Oh, oh that's good, it. Good body shot. Very good. He was two extremely fit boys here. Lato looks as if he's uh, been in the gymnasium and done the work. Very fit boy. You pick that jab out, Dave. That's exactly what we got to do. You know. Stick, stick, stick that jab. Poke it out. That's it. Too many guys these days, they just they just try and get uh, away from that big one shot. He just, uh, yeah. just work off that jab, get that hand out of the right, and pow. That's the trouble with some punchers. You know, some punchers get the idea, I yeah. don't have to have a learning curve. All you yeah. do is hit them. You yeah, know? that's right. Mm. Nice yeah. combination there, but nothing yeah. landed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. was yeah. working at the right uppercut. Uh, seems like it's going to be a very favourite punch of his tonight. Yeah. yeah. Trying that combination. Probably the um, latter being shorter, and uh, he's pretty quick too. He seems to avoid yeah, some of that yeah. trouble. They have got quick hands, these little fellas. Very strong. Very strong, strong indeed in the body, yeah. Yeah, very muscly and strong and hard worn. to hit too. We're very bit, quick. Um, a bit you know, of worn, we'll be interested yeah. to see about his fitness. Oh, good left hook there. It's going to be harder for David Steenson to um, get his knockout artillery moving on this fellow because of the uh, pace of this boy. No, and, he, and I think I think because he's shorter, Dave's might have a bit of trouble like coming down on right. him. But, um, well, as you gentlemen just said, chess, it's going to be tactics here. It's going to be very interesting. They're you know, very different uh, sized boys fighting at this uh, middleweight level. I think that if, uh, if David did, uh, can just be patient, poke that left jab out, let everything come off the jab, even he punches down with it, punch down with the jab, fine, loops up the guy, get an uppercut going. Because yeah. if you're using the jab the way you're saying, Gus, the other guy's got to get him past it, and that's, that's right. when he's going to make a that's mistake. Right. When they're coming in, you bring them onto the right end, that's and right. you sit them down as quick and as you bring them. With a taller guy jabbing down at it, this guy's going to go under the jab that's more right. than slip it. When he goes that's under right. it, this guy's got an uppercut. That's, that's right. right. You should use it. Yeah. I think Murray will be telling you just that at the moment. I couldn't, I couldn't separate them that round, tell you the truth. I don't like even rounds, but I couldn't separate them. Yeah, yeah I agree with you, Gus. Very even start to proceedings. Was uh, no damage done really by anybody, apart from that initial onslaught from Latu. It was a fairly quiet round. Now, those guys that lead with right hands, too, think they get in trouble, you know? Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. 
That's it. Nice jab. Nice jab. He's got, got a good jab. Why didn't he use it? And then trying to follow up with that big uh, right coming round. Keep I the jab think, going. I, I think if he, ba he boxes on the back foot, I think he can bring, so, bring, bring this guy on yeah. with his right yeah. hand, I feel. Yep. yep. That's good. Uh, that be good tactics ever. He's going to be hard for him. It's obviously you're trying to hit down on him. It's going to be hard. That uppercut of Steenson's, I think, is going to be an interesting punch if he can land one of those. Well, he's going to he's going to draw him onto that too. But he's got to bend down to throw it to uh, get it coming up. So uh, it's going to be hard for him. No, and Lado looks pretty comfortable. Not, not as many too, punches thrown as the last fight. No. <laughs> That's oh, the problem with um, when you've got punches fighting. Yeah. You know, yeah. they just set and they just let go. Now we've got out of the on. telephone box now and we're yeah. uh, using the whole ring. So it's, That's uh, better. See, he gives you that jab. Use the jab. Stop leading with your right hand. Well, good left hook. I'd like to see the right hand coming off a jab and then the left hook yeah, rather than the lead yeah, right hand. Getting a bit of wrestling now to just tie Steens. And good tactics from Lado there just to compose himself. Tie Steens up for a minute. Oh, came no. in hard trying Take to get him in the hand. chest. He's got, a, he's got, a, he's got a very good defense tag too. Yeah. Jab got through there. Very strong. And again. Nice jab. He's got that ramrod jab. Yeah, Man, is, yeah, just stick it, it out, stick it out. Great jab. Mm. Now he's doing better this round. Yeah. He's winning yeah. the round anyway. Work in there. This as stage. Well. Yep. He doesn't want to let the guy get near him, though. He no, that's keep away from him. He's got that perfect arsenal. Yes. He's got that left jab to keep him right. right. on the end of the jab. That's right. Bit of a left hook in there too, then that to whip the round the ladder. I think he's talking about something to think about. Yeah, I think so. Oh, so good right uppercut. Yeah. Beautiful punch yeah, there, that, that uppercut. That was the one I've been talking about, that uppercut. Yeah. Yeah. He's pushing him down now. And uh, the referee says, don't do it again, uh, Mr. Ladder. Yeah, I think he's tired already. He yeah, it yeah. looks that way to me. Bit of air coming out he there. Wants and to the, go. The he wants and uh, started off hard, but uh, he wants to jump on the plane and go home. I think so. I think so. Yeah, I remember one time I was refereeing in, 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 in uh, the uh, Horton Pavilion in Sydney. Yep, yep. And we had a Fijian, I think it was there. And he went down a couple of times and he wanted a count from me. And I said, hey, you're not getting a count, you're getting paid to fight, get up. Gee <laughs> whiz. <laughs> now, Lado um, now is, uh, oh, yeah. energy levels have dropped away substantially. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, he uh, doesn't appear to be... Uh, not moving anywhere near as fluently as the first right round, uh, Latow. That kind of a punch tends to stop your attention, to ah, <laughs> grab your attention, but... Uh, so, he was a bit non plus at the end of that round, Latow, and a good round of slings. I think those body shots really hurt him then, Steve, and uh, yep. Dave's getting his confidence uh, right. uh, round by round. Yeah. Um, he's really, really in this fight now. Yeah. And David looks very comfortable with himself at the moment, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah. That uh, hasn't been extended yeah. at all so no, far. Yet, no, he yeah. took the initial onslaught from Latow, yeah. and... Uh, he wore it well, as you indicated yeah. at the time, and uh, now it, uh, he's uh, setting up a win for himself. He keeps uh, moping along at the same level. That's right. He doesn't look very happy in that corner, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Uh, I've seen Stanson fight him a couple of times now, three or four. Never changed the expression. No. He's got that. Yeah. The poker face, I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Except and, one uh, night, he, got, he put a guy down the first round. The guy got up and uh, got up from it. I think that might just taking a little confidence away yeah. from it. The guy ended up winning the fight. Yeah, yeah. He heard his. Yeah, that's it. He yeah. heard his, um, his hand. He's got a bad right hand, right? But um, he definitely can punch. Okay, so get that jab go. In the round three of this uh, six uh, three round of fight. Yes, I've got uh, 20 to 19 in favor of uh, David at this stage. He made the first round even, gave the second round to David. Yeah, that's uh, pretty well spot on with me. I think Gus. So. Yeah, get out, get out there, side of that floor. Oh, nice uh, punch into the. Uh, the now I think section. what he's now, now what I think he's got to do too is is throw a, little, a, a few more in bunches. Yeah. Not just one. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think he when probably he needs to attack a bit shot. more now, Stingson. He could the motor up a bit. Well, that's true. You know, punches and bunches. You know, they, they can open the guy up a long way too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Just, uh, I think Keep he's Terry Ripe right at the moment. Let out just to, I think Stevenson needs to extend him, and he does so with uh, the snapping punch. He knows he's going to take this bloke. for the right hand. The bloke doesn't want the body. No, no, he doesn't, no, he like, doesn't like, like the body at all. He's not being hit there himself either, Let out, but uh, Stevenson on the left hand uh, swinging across there, Mr. Uh, Let out, and he. Uh, he composes himself now, but he's moving into his own corner, and the Steenson's blocked him in there. Yeah, Good move by Steenson. Uh, 
take his time there coming back in. Gus there, Steenson. I thought he had him lined up. You see, he's used a jab four or five shots there, and he's more or less dictated that part of the action. Yeah. yeah. Didn't quite drive the advantage home, but uh, he's getting ready for uh, Steenson to that. sort of blow. Keep to, doing uh, that. That's all he needs to do. Just keep banging that right hand in. And his hands are going to come down. He's going to start hurting him. And he needs a few seconds, Steenson. He can turn a fight from uh, being a slow-moving affair into uh, devastation for the opposition. That's it. We used to have a saying in the States, you know, kill the body and the head dies. Yes, yeah, that's it. I think uh, did Joe Fraser used to say that, Gus, remember? Yeah, well, he killed the body, I tell you what. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's a nice jab. That was a good jab. He keeps that going. He's got a good tool yeah. there. Use it. And uh, the crowd good getting jab. frustrated uh, with the uh, pace of the fight. Well, they've been spoiled already with the two yeah, fight. It. And uh, now they everything they want, everything the same. But uh, they're seeing a couple of uh, uh, boys at work here trying to work out tactics and stings in there, moves in. Not much damage now, from there, Maddow yeah. hanging on now, there, and uh, Steenson should be That's working it. away That's at the belly. Yeah. He wants out of here, this Yes, he does. Looking for a place. Yeah. 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 And Steenson now trying to wind up that right hand. He's, that's when he starts to get a bit belligerent, Julian, when he uh, yeah, yeah. showboats with that right, yeah. you know, yeah. starting to screw it into line it's as if to say, up. we'll get ready for it. We know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like a sudden aurora it is. Good too. body shot. Good shot, yeah. He's just got to throw another one from that, I think. Yeah, that's he, right. He, he, he needs, needs a couple more on top of that one, yeah, not just yeah, that one. Yeah, he's got yeah. this guy going. Maddow's fighting this very defensively fighting. at the moment, and just backing away from Steenson. I don't think he's even doing that good at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> he's just letting uh, Steenson come straight onto him uh, without any uh, hesitation whatsoever. His hands are dropping right yeah, down the yeah, kit. Yeah. Check that body. He's got to let him go now. Break. He's hurting in the body. Dave just needs to step up the next notch now. Um, he's, he's just coasting a little bit at the moment. Um, with these guys, when you when you're going easy, you, you tend to you can sort of get in that little mode where you're gonna just um, coast along basically, win the fight, you know you're gonna win the fight. But these are the fights that you need to learn how to step up the next two levels Notch. boom and boom you know and, and that's where you just got to get them out of get them out of there as quick as you can no, that's a good, uh, good move it's, it's, it's obvious that the uh, ladder has taken this fight late because matthew lapham was the original opponent yeah. Yeah. the stings yeah. is it to drop out so um you know uh, that's uh, perhaps uh that hour's been caught short to fitness wise but he looks pretty fit yeah, but they want to be fighters. They're going to be. They want to be fight, fighters. They're going to come here and be fit. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing. Here we go. Round four with uh, David Sensen having a uh, two-point lead, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I definitely. Yeah. 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 Not about that. Uh, and that when well, was uh, work rate dropped there. away nice. from the halfway through the first round, it's dropped right away. And Stevenson controls the fight. Uh, yeah. Nice uh, left hand uh, flipping He's around there. He's got to keep the uh, work rate up now. Matter. He needs to increase that. I think probably needs to increase the tempo a bit now, Steenson. Now you think this round, the fourth come round. Back with that hook after that. Yeah. Yeah. See, and it's hard when you find guys that are that are there in there to survive as well. Um, yeah. They can make you look bad. Mm. You know, and and basically, I think that's what's happening at yeah. the moment. Yeah. Dave's sort of letting his shots go, but uh, this other guy sort of well, he's, he's just waiting for him. He's not worried about anything else. He's not worried about mm. punching. So he had the attitude, if I get him in the first round, fine. If I don't, yeah, yeah. We'll try that right nice uppercut. uppercut then. Yeah, yeah, it was a, yeah, good oh, and a good right too. hand too, at, um, coming across there, the right cross onto uh, Latow and uh, uh, Steenson. Now you just get the feeling, you get that right uppercut moving and follow it up with a left hand. Uh, it could be a big trouble for Latow. You're about four or five and you're getting, you're getting him out of there. Good job. And that Steenson, you feel just waiting for the appropriate moment to spring that's into it, complete action. It. He's, he's not even leaving his corner. He doesn't even want to walk back to the corner. And the slipping punch to uh, Maddow bounces away again. Maddow constantly on the defensive the whole time, moving backwards. Yeah, I think he's given up the idea of trying to win this fight. And he has. It's a bit of a survival Stay, thing. Yeah. He certainly uh, wouldn't have we'll let him points from now. the judges. Uh, right. Gus with a uh, defensive attitude like that, would he? Difficult, because uh, you don't land punches, you can't win points. To the name of the game. Absolutely. Moving into oh, yeah. Beautiful combination from Steenson on the lad having the neutral corner. Far side of the ring. Do it again now. Do it again. And uh, Steenson now stalking that out. And that now showing a bit more aggression. 
You just tend to feel he's, I reckon he's travelling at about 75% of his uh, work rate at the moment, Steenson. I think he's got plenty of, of um, reserve left in the body. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I think that's a bit he took steep. a point. He <laughs> took a point. Point off, and Conte uh, Andorra, the referee, exerting extensive authority here, Julian, and uh, has taken a point from that now. Now he wants to see. Yeah, uh, get going now. Not a not a bad move from the referee because he was grabbing a bit, but uh, also it stung Ladau into action. Yeah. But uh, if you're just going to hang on all day, uh, you're going to get punished for it. Sure. Uh, take the referee. Hey, just going to let him go now. Get him out of there. And now Steenson, he has that's the opportunity. That's it, that's it, that's it. And that now has him in the there corner. Now he's starting to motor in the lat house. That now fights back nicely, though. That's but what he's well, got to do. That's what we've been waiting but, for. Uh, you'd think that uh, it's uh, starting the damn walls maybe about ready to break. I mean, he's gone. Laddie, I don't think Laddie's going to come out again. In discussions with I his think, corner. I think we, get, we better get up there and push him back in there, Steve. <laughs> Well, uh, Julian Holland reading the psychology here of our uh, fighter from uh, New Zealand, uh, Any Latu and uh, his corner. Well, they don't seem to be too flustered at the moment, Julian. Yeah, they're, no, they're OK. Yeah. And that, they're, they're regular visitors uh, here yeah, to uh, yeah, Australia. I've, uh, I've fought a couple of Briggs guys, and uh, Brig, he always brings guys over, and they're, they're always pretty well well trained as well. Yep. Uh, we regularly see this lovely, team. Lovely guy. And, uh, uh, they're uh, big supporters, they keep bringing fighters out, and it's great to see. Round five will be interesting. Second out, round five. Here we go, yeah. Dave's very keen to get started. Very keen now, Murray Thompson. I'm trying to get somebody's here. attention, and I can't do it. Uh, golly, been looking to get her attention all night. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to step the work right up now. Steenson now pursuing Ladau, uh, just waiting, Ladau, throwing out his left hand, first left hand, he's throwing out for a while. Oh, you're getting left jab, left hook off the... He tries to come over the top of the left, Ladau, but uh, looks at, trying to look a little bit more aggressive. But he came out of the, uh, did make it out of the corner, Julian. But Ladau, he's, uh, he's here with us. Steenson, oh, nice uh, shot to the uh, midriff. And That's the, a good ooh, jab. Nice straight uh, left, left jab there That's that found it. its mark. He's got to throw threes and fours, <laughs> yeah. and this guy will go. Yes, he's got punches in bunches right now. That's yep. it. That's it. So a ripped, uh, followed right by the right there. uppercut and the left hook, but just about to be curtains. And it was done in that similar style. Steenson now tries to block that out, bounces around out of that neutral corner there. Oh, moving, uh, deftly moving left and oh, right. Good right up there. I'd like to see him find the left hook, you know, he gets that right up and got in there. Now trying to move yeah, him in right, yeah, that yeah. neutral corner, you get the feeling, here comes Steenson. Oh, yeah, good open body shot, he's hurt him with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Would have uh, knocked the sails oh, out of up up there. Perfectly timed, that one, That's too. Right. That sails right beautifully then. And no oh, breathing hard, Ladau, and no looking at his corner there, returned away from He's Steenson. He's got to finish him now, finish him. And that was looking very good. Take concerned. him out of there, take him out of there. Steenson now, oh. Comes in hard with the uh, left and right hand. The straight right was a beauty. And the Ladau on the back foot here. He's in the neutral oh, corner, nearly copped an uppercut gust, didn't he? Yeah, just slided past him a little right. bit. Yeah, didn't quite... Uh, the guy's not that much interested. He's gone, didn't yeah, quite yeah. capture the uh, jaw region. Wants, looking at his corner, he's breathing he wants, hard. He I think wants, he's got... He oh, he's in trouble here. He's looking I for his... Yeah. Thinks it looks uh, as if he's been hit hard, but it's uh, all happening. Perhaps it was the uh, rib cage. He's, that, uh, he's begging the corner. Stop his <laughs> fight. He's uh, looking at his corner. Way. He's had enough, and he throws the right hand lazily at Stinson to keep him at bay. But he's looked at his corner a couple of times. Gus, that's dangerous for fighter to do that. Well, he, he's doing two things. He's telling his opponent that he's ready to go, number one. And he's letting himself take his attention away from what he's supposed to be looking at. Oh, look, uh, very dangerous uh, work uh, from uh, 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 that now. Uh, and... Uh, it's going to be He's debatable just got to keep whether working it comes hard, out. Dave. Just keep the big, the big on, combinations go. going. Referee having another word to... Oh, another point taken off, isn't it? Another point being taken off. Lathow, who's uh, leading on the referee in pain. And uh, he's been punished by Conte Aduru at this time of the fight for hanging on. He turns around to his corner Two again. He won't, he's not going to go the next round. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's bouncing around. He's trying to get away from Steenson. 
He didn't like doing body punches. Messi, let, let him go. Let him go, Yeah, yeah. Him, yeah. That's it. Keep it up. Swings him now, and uh, oh, <laughs> Lanao, he looks bad. He's heading to his corner. He's in a lot of pain from those body punches for sure. And Spoons, what a big round for Spoons. He was he just about going to give that a 10 7, wouldn't he? Yeah, you would because he's got a point there too. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Ten six. Can that, can that happen? Jesus. No, no you never go down. They usually don't go down that far. <laughs> <laughs> become a very hard task for us because he's become a commentator, Julian Holt. Oh yeah, I don't, they, you know the corner should take a little pity on this guy. Why get him hurt? Yeah, that's right. You know. Well, that's where Keith Ellis is pretty good with these boys, Gus. If he sees them in chronic yeah, trouble, the yeah, towel goes yeah. in. Uh, the corner here seemed to be somewhat uh, Look, you know, bemused by the he situation. Hasn't been, uh, he hasn't been hit with any big, really big shots. No, but when a guy wants there. to get out of there yeah, like that, he's yeah, starting he's to feel some trying to get let him, yes. But they are professional boxers, I suppose. True, they do come, true. They do come here to get some That's so exactly right. Last round. You can't let him go out too easy. He's amazing. He's in a bit of pain, this boy. He's trying to last the distance. But so far... He's been a bit elusive, actually, for Stingson. Maybe it's the height thing, uh, whatever, but uh, David's found it difficult to uh, land the big combinations uh, into him as much as he would like. He's on the right run yeah. now. It's a survival round for Laddow, and uh, David Stingson would like to finish it quickly. He's well ahead, of course. There's no problem there. He's just following him a little bit at the moment. He's got to cut him off, cut him off. Yeah. He's just got to block across. him into that neutral corner, Place perhaps, and uh, land there, yeah. some punches in there. But Ladau moving well left yeah, and right. Missed a chance to cut him off there. And uh, throw him back in the corner. Breathing just let him go. That's and it. Ladau some nice body punches there, and Ladau will uh, be uh, hanging on for dear life here. I think he's going for the disqualification. Yeah. Con Theodoro splits them up. He'll take another point off the way he's been going with the uh, refereeing so far. He doesn't like that. Well. My feeling would be that we're in this stage of the fight now, the sixth round. I'd hesitate to uh, to uh, take another point at this stage, yeah. unless it's a blatant foul. Blatant foul, yes. A uh, good uppercut. Yeah, very good. Guy, that was beautiful. He does throw that punch well. Oh, the big right hand from Stingson would have put the head up on the roof, but uh, if he had have hit him, but uh, not I'd like, quite. I'd like to see him throw a lot more punches in there, not just two. You know, bang, yeah. bang, 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 and, and I think that's where you'll take the guy out. Yeah, oh, pushes uh, Lado around, and that gives him a shove for his trouble. And Lado bounces out without any assistant referee. Oh, he came over the top, Stingson, oh, and that oh, one. ended up with the head underneath the legs then, uh, Lado. Uh, I don't know what you'd call that. I don't know if there's a rule for that. <laughs> Probably more suitable in a rodeo than a boxing ring. That maneuver. Punch up, punch up. <laughs> <laughs> Did everything put a saddle on him, Gus? <laughs> <laughs> but that uh, out now, trying to work away. Stingson comes back. He's well, on the ropes. First time Lennon's got Stingson on the ropes. Stingson, you'd have to say probably this round hasn't fully exerted himself uh, no. with what he could to do. He's just coast prepared to coast home. Mm. Um, the guy's a little bit tricky, yeah, uh, given that. He doesn't want to last in there, really. Yeah. I mean, tell you, like, like you said before, if he wants to hang in there and, and uh, not get knocked out, he'll do it. Yeah. Well, he's been sensible from that point of view. That he knows he can't beat Stinson, so stay away from the trouble as much as you can, I suppose. Get on the bike. But again, he's shown a heart, too, because he's looking at his corner to get him out of there, and he's yeah. not getting on himself. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 big punch from Stinson. Would have caught him in the esophagus oh. region again, I think, the throat. And he's, got him him he's going to throw more punches. He said, oh, the little New Zealand that came back with a huge yeah, right hand. Better, that's better. Let him go. He's going to throw more punches. Stinks in there trying to block him off and trying to throw heavy, hit him with some heavy oh, yeah. artillery all the way up. That's sort of uppercut nice. Doesn't he? Yeah. Bounced one on the jaw then, I think, with that uppercut. Yeah. And that's the end of it. That house lasted. Stinks in. He's had a big win here. <laughs> <laughs> And they're pretty happy with himself, David Stinks. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't think there's any question about who won that one. No, I don't think so. I mean, I've got it 60-51. I mean, I've got it fairly one-sided. Well, if I take two points off, i got it 60-51 too. There's two point there and a point there, 53-51. Yeah. I mean, that was uh, very one-sided. 
Yeah, well, it's a win, it's a win, it's a win, it's a win, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a, a, a nice little training gallop for David Steenson. And, and, uh, I have said that before, you know, like every win you can get, you've got to take them. And, and if it's an easy fight, you've got to take them too because there's a lot of hard fights that you have. Well, I was about to say, you win your money so hard as it is, yeah. and um, you're entitled to have a fight like that, I reckon, in yeah, your career definitely. every so definitely. often because yeah. of the, yeah. the, the, the training and the slogging well, effect. Well, I'd, I'd rather a fighter of mine have a, an easy win over six or eight rounds and have an easy yeah. win and not going to go the yeah. first round. Doesn't yeah. do anything, doesn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. Do anything. Right. Yeah. And also, um, if you keep having hard fights over your career, it's going to shorten your career, as Gus said, True. with the fight previous. Saw before, yes. Right. You, you couldn't see Jimmy Cheetah's going much uh, yeah. longer at that level. I mean, he'll not... Well, I, I think he might call it quits now. Yeah, you think with really the championship belt yeah. around his waist, you think, wouldn't you? Take it over. Yeah. 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 Put it on the wall, yeah. That's right. Yeah, well, that one's down. So let's see here. What have we got left? Two big fights, Gus, well, coming yeah, up. Got two, two great fights. I'll be uh, uh, I'll be working so. the corner of the, the main and then uh, with uh, Matthew Pauly. Uh, uh, um, but uh, Lincoln Stewart, is, this other one's going to be a great fight. I'll be interested to see. Lincoln here, Stewart, uh, yes, and uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, in boxing parlance, we have a shutout. S H U T O U T. Judges Andrew Campbell. David Wignall and Nick Williams all gave it the same way. 59-55, winner, blue corner, David K.O. Kid, Steenson, Steenson. Nice win for him. And uh, now, it, uh, yeah, it was, you know, it was a little bit of a down. Downer after the last fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you'd expect that, Gus, after uh, what uh, had transpired earlier on in the night because we had two big fights to kick things off, and uh, you got to expect that on your fight card it's not going to go like that all the way. Let's hear what he's got to say. Yeah. That's what you did. Yeah, um, I really needed to go six rounds, and but here it was awkward. I just couldn't, just couldn't catch him. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a bit of a slow fight. I was a bit sluggish, but. I'm happy to do the rounds, you know, it's, um, it's good mentally, and next time I'll go a few more, it's good. Okay, David K.O. Kidstein, I just have to thank a few people quickly, if that's all. Right. Uh, thank my Thompson for putting me on his show and training me. I thank Greg Grogan for his assistance in the corner with my hands. And my sponsors, Susie Ashley Massage, her products are um, the best in Australia. Um, Cots Tours, uh, I'd like to thank a good mate of mine, poor lady who uh, keeps me mobile and car breaks down every, every second day. And uh, I'd like to thank my friends that come here from Adelaide, Scotty Miller, great bloke, Kevin Clark, and of course, uh, special thanks to um, Chris Cotty. Uh, guy's an absolute legend, he's a champion, mate, and um, I forgot to spar this year with Aaron, thanks, Cotty. Um, thanks, everybody. Okay, David Steenson, uh, part of the Finance Factory, Murray Thompson's big show.